Hi and thanks for joining me. It's Christine Crutcher from Create with Christine and I'm here with another Tuesday tip video tutorial. For my project today we are making just a sweet and simple Christmas card and it features the Many Blessings stamp set. This is from the holiday catalog but a lot of the products I used on my card are also from the annual catalog. So I kind of have a mashup of products going on this week. So let's get this out of the way and let's do our stamping first. I went ahead and punched out a whisper white circle from my one, th one and three quarter inch circle punch. And I have my Merry Christmas stamp and my Real Red ink pad. So I want to stamp the Merry Christmas towards the top of the circle because I want to actually hang the ornament from the set kind of from the letter T in the stamp. So I'm going to kind of go towards the top middle. Oops, leave my ink open. And I'll bring over the little ornament. And I want to try to line up, this is nice for photopolymer, line up from the T with my hanger. Whoops. Okay. I'll flip over and try again. That's why cardstock has two sides. much better. And then I want to color in the ornament to kind of coordinate with my designer paper. I used the under the mistletoe designer paper and that's from the annual catalog. So the colors I'm using come from the paper. It's real red and old olive and I'm just going to use a tiny bit of daffodil as well. So I just, I'll do the daffodil first. I kind of did the top of the little hanger with daffodil. It's a little hard to see. Then I'll do, add some red. And I stick my finger in the ink pad. It's cute. Ugh, I'm getting it on my project. So pretend that's not there. Now I'll add the olive. So I'm using the, these are the watercolor pencils. And then to just add a little bit of sparkle and shine, I went over the watercolored areas with my clear Wink of Stellar glitter brush. This adds a little bit of sparkle. I probably should be cleaning it kind of in between so I don't get the colors mixed up, but I'm just going kind of quick here. So then that gives it a little bit of sparkle. And then since I used the silver foil edge cards, I just have my card. I'm going to fold it in half. And I want to do, I'm going to do the circles and the ribbon first. So I want to put my circle down first. It's a real red two inch punched out circle. So we'll just add that with a little bit of liquid glue. And I'm actually going to layer my ribbon over the circle base and see what's going to happen is they'll nest on top of each other nicely but I want my ribbon to go on next so it's the real red I believe it's 3 8 inch ribbon and I'm just going to add that on with a couple glue dots the designer series paper is three and a half inches by four and three quarter and it just it nests perfectly on to the silver foil edge cards. You could also do, do gold. I'm more of a silver. I prefer silver. 
Okay, so once I have that on there, I can stick my paper to the card. If this point set aside makes you happy, use that side of the paper. That's why there's two sides, right? One, everybody has their preference. And then I am literally just gonna pop this up on dimensionals and I would add a red rhinestone from the Red Rhinestone Basic Jewels. I just pick them up with the tip of my scissors if you don't have the Take Your Pick tool and add that right to the eye in Christmas. I'm gonna actually restamp that so it looks nice. So that is how quick and simple my Christmas card is for this week if you haven't got your cards out in the mail yet. And this is a quick and easy one you could easily mass produce. So thanks so much for tuning in this week. Leave me a comment by Monday, December 17th at midnight Eastern for a chance to win this card in the mail from me. Thanks so much. I'll be back again next week with another project to share.